only came out in 2019, and it's written and directed by Takashi Dosher. It stars Frida Pinto and Leslie Odom Jr. The tomato meter rating is 39%, and because the movie's so new, there's no audience score on Rotten Tomatoes yet. The, um, the film is a contemplative post-apocalyptic drama that focuses on a young couple trying to survive in a world that is ravaged by a mysterious virus. It's, it's an interesting one. Um, I want to, I just, I kind of want to go straight to the verdict. Um, so the question is, should you watch only? I, oh man, I actually don't even know what I'm going to give for this yet. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm borderline between the two. I am a week to think. (laughs) I did, but I've like, it's, it's a tough question. I'm going to give a yes with a, with a caveat, like, yes. If you're okay with something that's pretty bleak, pretty depressing, and is not going to leave you with a lot of hope at the end. What about you? I'm going to say no on this one. I, I understand. Is, is the reason why? Because of the, uh, as I explained, because it's going to leave you without a lot of hope. Yeah, like it's, it's, uh, I mean, I know uh, it's, it's a Glock movie. Explain. Glocks are really good guns that I don't like. Okay, okay. So this is like a really good movie that like I just couldn't like. It was it was just too much for me. Like there was just it, it's something that I, I I don't know. Like it's there's some movies that are like sad, mm-hmm. but it's somehow liberating. Like Curious Case of, of Benjamin Button. That's like a sad movie, but you feel sort of liberated by the by the 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 sadness. Um, Lego Batman. That. That's a sad movie that makes you feel li- liberated by the sadness. Don't judge me. I thought it was sad. That's a good one. Um, I mentioned on many occasions I've cried during that film. Um, but yeah, it just I I just couldn't handle it. And like some of the writing was like kind of hacky. Yeah. In that they like the, it's like they were trying to like upset you as much as they could. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, but and there's actually some some snippets of really really good acting. Yeah, I think. Uh, well, and honestly, I mean, I don't want to like. I I enjoyed the movie. And I mean, obviously, I I didn't even get. Oh shit! Hold on. Whoops. We're supposed to we're supposed wait. to have this as the answer. There we go. I said yes. You said no. There we go. My bad. I had the, I had the wrong. I told you I was gonna fuck up these scenes already. Um, it's fine. We got we got time. We got time to be good. But the uh, like, uh, you know, you even called it a, a good movie. But it's like the the critics don't really agree. I mean, it had a pretty like thirty nine is a pretty low Ooh. tomato meter score. Like it was not really critically received well. If you look at the movie from like beginning to end, it kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. But there's there's moments where you can see different like skills coming out like f- with the creators. I mean, they had a lot of uh, I I don't know if and I, I kind of noticed a lot of really tight camera work. Um, yeah, in a lot of spots because I think they were trying to capture like the emotion of the people involved. Um, I thought it was kind of lame that they never explained certain parts of it. Well, let's yeah, um, let's um. I think we've given enough of our like spoiler free. Uh, review like we we can we can start to delve into into what actually what actually went on in the movie 